This is hands down my favorite hunt and episode of the year. It is youth season in Virginia. Each and every year, we are going to either A, expose someone new to hunting, or B, we're gonna take somebody that we've taken in the past hunting. The older we get, it seems like the more precious it is to us as our kids are getting older, my kids are getting older, and my oldest one, even the youngest one, starting to show interest in it. It's what I'm putting my cameras out for and getting the pictures and hanging the stands is for me to take my kids hunting. Youth day, we've got kids standing in line wanting to go. I've took my nephew in the past. He's killed a great buck. Chris always takes his son, Cole, his daughter, Logan. Eric's always took his daughter. We've took friends of ours' kids, and we have great success this weekend. We always take every opportunity we can to get out in the field and teach a kid about hunting. That doesn't happen, Two yards of ice with food. Unbelievable morning. Every year, without a doubt, youth season in Virginia is my favorite hunt. Uh, Logan and Cole both got one last year. Uh, both of them were eight pointers. They did awesome job. Logan uh, scope came back and hit her nose. So, uh, I mean, it happens. Uh, that was a great hunt though. The shooting house tonight, and this eight pointer comes out. I've got pictures of him. And Logan shoots, and as soon as she shoots, I turn the camera back on her, and her nose is absolutely pouring the blood. If you've ever shot a deer with a gun with a scope, okay, Logan, now you gotta gut it and drag it out. Good luck, baby. <laughs> Do you even know what that means? No. <laughs> Believe this or not, your dad has paid me before, bribed me to gut his deer. And what's even funnier, I'm gonna pay him to do it again tonight. <laughs> Cole has turned into just a super stud little hunter. I think as he grows older, he's gonna far surpass anything I've ever done in the woods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's an eight pointer. What do you think? Uh, he's one heck of a deer. With Cole, it's a buck or nothing. He's just that kid. He, you know, he's going to shoot a buck or he's not going to shoot anything, which, whatever. That's, that's what he chooses to do. Numerous opportunities during this youth weekend to shoot a doe, but he was waiting on that buck. We were sitting there. Uh, in one of my stands, and I hadn't really set this stand up for Cole, and it's, a, it's the stand he had, he killed his buck out of last year with Eric. And we're sitting there, and a, and a small bear comes in. It's a baby cub, and it stays around and hangs around. I bet it's there for an hour. And Cole kept telling me, Dad, get down and scare that bear off. And I said, hey, it'll be fine. That little cub's not gonna scare any deer. Well, guess what? Cole was right, I was wrong, as usual. And, uh, Sure enough, here comes an eight pointer, one of our target deer. He's walking in, Cole sees him first. He's getting his gun up, getting ready to shoot. The deer's getting ready to, you know, turn. And he looks and sees the, the bear and takes off like he had been shot at. Every year in the past, I've took my dad and my nephew and this year is no different. No clue what's on this farm. I've not run any cameras. I've not been on it. It kind of slipped up on me, but we're gonna go out and we're gonna give it our best swing. This is one of the spots that we come every year. This field's full of clover. Uh, it's just loaded and these deer every year, early season, there's a big oak flat right back here and they go on that oak flat and they come out here. So um, super cool because we can use any kind of weapon in Virginia Youth Weekend. So Tyler's got the old brown in 308. First evening out, Virginia, you season, it is pouring the rain. I'm not expecting anything great tonight. We've been sitting all afternoon and there is just not much happening. Obviously, Tyler wants to kill a big buck, but I'm gonna say if a doe messes up and gives him a good shot, he's gonna take it. We're out here second day at youth weekend. Um, just got 
set up. Waiting to see if anything comes out a little early, maybe. We hope. But hopefully it'll be a better night than it was last night. We've seen five deer, only one anywhere close. And he's about the size of a dog. So hopefully something a little bit bigger comes out. Day two. Youth weekend here in Virginia. It is the last day. Um, Chris and Cole hunted last night, didn't have any luck. I think they had a bear come in, literally just sit in front of them forever. Um, Tyler and I and my dad, we came to the spot that we know all too well. Um, we didn't have any luck. We saw several does, one spike in the field that we're hunting, but uh, wasn't gonna shoot the spike. So in the past, Historically speaking, Tyler's had better luck on the weekend, or on Sunday versus Saturday. Um, we killed, we set up here one year, it's pouring the rain Saturday and Sunday. We killed a doe the second afternoon, and then um, two years ago we killed a, a great nine-pointer here. We hunted Saturday evening, seen him, didn't get him killed, come back Sunday, got him killed. So I'm hoping history repeats itself and we get it done tonight. This kind of, this takes us back home. It reels us back in a little bit. It's about hunting here. It's about being with family. It's about being with friends. And it's about being with kids. It's about teaching people the way we were taught. Um, it's just about getting them in the outdoors and watching their excitement. And we get to live, we get to live through them again. Whether it's a doe, a small buck, it could be a spike. As long as the kid's happy, that's all that matters. It's not about, on a hunt like this, it's not about how big the deer is. It's just, it's about how excited they get. All right, here comes a doe. She is like 200 yards away. Tyler has the browning rifle and he's ready to let it eat. Make sure you subscribe and like the page. On top of that, make sure you click the little notification bell. That way you'll be one of the first ones to know when a new video drops. Hey guys, be sure to check us out on social media and also on our website. You're gonna to wanna to follow along for a special exclusive behind the scenes, giveaways, and more about the cast. If there's anything I can tell you, if there's anything I can ask of you, I beg you, please, if you know somebody that is interested in hunting, take them. They don't have to be a kid. Um, it can be anybody, a cousin, an uncle, a friend down the road, and especially kids. Um, the future, um, that is our future. I mean, somebody had to take us. So if you get that opportunity, man, do it. I promise you, um, it'll be the highlight of your year. All right, here comes a doe. She is like 200 yards away. Tyler has the browning rifle and he's ready to let it eat. Drums are a pounding right now, but oh, Brandon 308 did the job. I could barely see her, like never stopped moving. But I finally got still, and she stopped and dropped her. Just like normal, Tyler makes a great shot. She drops in her tracks. Now it's time to go get our hands on her. Wow. Well, we was just getting ready to leave, and uh, Jason looked up here and said there was a deer up here, and I looked, and it was a big doe, and uh, I got turned around and situated, and waited till she stopped, and got broadside, and didn't think she's ever going to stop, and she stopped, and I shot and dropped her right in her tracks. 
Vamos ver, né? Yeah. It's been a long weekend, so finally glad to have some meat on the ground. Yeah. What's wrong? Whew. What's wrong? My adrenaline's still going. My adrenaline's still going. You got excited, didn't you? Yeah. So, my daughter, she's seven now, and she's got a little bit of interest in going outdoors and deer hunting. My little one, he's four, and he will definitely have the interest when he gets a little older. I plan on taking him, but she decides she wanted to go out this year for youth weekend. I said, hey, absolutely, we'll go. So my wife and I, we take her out to one of my best spots, and uh, we've got an elevated ground blind. Deer come in. I've got monster meal poured out. We're in Carolina. It's a legal state where you can supplemental feed, and Knew we were going to see some deer, just hoping that we'd see the right one and she'd want to pull the trigger. So I've got this brown and perfect guns, lightweight, compact. I'm going to use it this fall, but we're going to see if we can get one down with youth this weekend. It's this small 308. It's perfect for kids, even adults. I take it all the time when I go hunting, but perfect for her. We get everything set up, and uh, long and behold, we do see several does that afternoon. We had fun. She decided she didn't want to pull the trigger. She was waiting on a big buck, but so am I. <laughs> Obviously didn't see one, so day in it, it got dark, but she had fun, and uh, it's something that, you know, I'll cherish and remember the rest of the year, and I can't wait to do it the next year. Go ahead, subscribe to our channel, like it. You're going to get that little notification bell. It's going to go off, let you know when something new hit. Follow, subscribe. Happy hunting this fall. We love everybody. Thank you again. Let me introduce you to great friends of Eric and mine, Steven and Kyla Ford. I came to know Dom and Tyson through actually um, workouts um, at our firehouse. Their mom and dad, Steven and Kyla Ford, are two of the nicest people you ever meet in your life. They're truly genuine, just good people, fitness gurus. Um, they managed to get myself, um, where I was at five years ago, into a better lifestyle. You know, Eric, Jason talk about working out, going to the gym, and and all this stuff, I, I do want to say this, I, I don't work out. And I did go into a gym one time, and that's only because I was looking for Jason and I knew he was probably there. Eric and I are volunteer firefighters here at home, and Steven and Kyle have kind of stepped in and they're helping us with like a functional fitness program. Um, they have become like family to me and Eric over the last several years, we always work out with them. Um, and not only them, but their two kids, Dom and Tyson Ford. And through that, we have literally just became so close to Dom and Tyson. And every single week, we work out together, and you see that bond between those two brothers. And it was a no-brainer this year. Um, you know, Dom wanted to go kill a deer. He'd, he'd taken a doe in the past, but he'd never killed a buck. And um, uh, lo and behold, this year, I had nobody on deck. So, Dom, it's your turn, buddy. You're in the game. Eric's taking him hunting and he's got several deer, several bucks that are coming to this field. Dom, one of the things I love about him is Dom is filled um, full of being humble and he's super respectful. I'm Dominic Ford, Dom, the Dom. I'm out here hunting with Eric tonight for youth season in Virginia and uh, hoping to get my first buck. But the other thing that makes him so dynamic is he's very coachable. Um, he listens well. And as the evening went on from the time that we were prepping at the truck getting ready to the time of all the way coming and, and climbing up the tree um, to get in the stand, um, it was evident that he listened to every single thing that I was saying. His brother Tyson is always just, he's always talking about fish hook that I killed several years ago. He's always talking about an eight pointer. He wants to kill an eight pointer. That, that's Tyson's dream is to kill an eight pointer. You can do a lot um, um, to teach a, a child um, things through life. Some of us obviously pick up things faster than others. Dom is one of those kids that's just naturally talented at anything you show him. You show him something one time and he picks it up. This is a super, super special hunt that I hope everyone takes something from.
We need you to support us, guys. So go over, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And every time we post something, you're going to get that little bell going off and you'll know instantly that you can go over and watch it and catch what's going on. Dom, one of the things I love about him is Dom is filled um, full of being humble and he's super respectful. But the other thing that makes him so dynamic is he's very coachable. He listened to every single thing that I was saying and he was, um, his eagerness to learn and, and there's no doubt that this is a kid that's gonna be a hunter for the rest of his life because he just couldn't get enough. And I'll never forget, um, Dom looked up at me and he said, man, I really just wanna kill an eight pointer because that's all Tyson says. And literally, I kid you not, 30 seconds later, here shows a buck up. Um, it's a wide buck that we had named actually in the tree that night. We named him Wide Clyde and um, I knew it was game on. So when this eight pointer steps out, you can see it in Dom's eyes, how excited he was. He was kind of living like, he was kind of living his brother's dream at that moment, so. I had to do literally nothing to, to get him through um, getting his gun up, getting himself anchored, getting a triangular system so that he could shoot, um, you know, the most ethical shot he could shoot because it was a 100 yard shot. I was talking about my brother and how he always tells me to bring back an eight pointer and I never have. And then Eric's like, hey, shh. And I turn around, there they are. Hey, give me some. Are you happy? Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> his first buck and it's a big one. I bet he's laying in the woods, not nowhere, because he's bleeding, literally pouring blood at that new bullet. Great time hunting with Eric. Um, I'm glad I got a nice kill on this big eight pointer. Uh, I had fun in Virginia for youth day and I can't wait to do it again. You never been too bad. What do you think for your first bug? My first bug is it, awesome. It was a great day. I can tell you this, I have hunted with a lot of people in a tree and I would saddle up to tomorrow, pack my bags and head to the Midwest with this kid. We've got Tyson, his brother, and we've got his mom and dad, Steven and Kyla. So this is probably, in my opinion, this is the highlight of the entire year for me, the entire 2018 hunting season. This right here is the highlight. It is so special to see these kids, to see Tyson and Dom interact with each other and how Dom helps Tyson. I just, the only thing that I hope is that Everybody that watches this episode can take something from it. Wow. Dom? What? I want that eight pointer on my lines. <laughs> you want all your lines. <laughs> Is that what you've been you've wanting been him to get? You've been for a long time. You want him to get your eight pointer, right? Give me eight pointer, but I need, I need me uh, that deer on to it. You want him it too. I told Eric right before I shot it that you, you want me to bring home an eight pointer. We are great stomach. Congrats, yeah. Dom, great buck. Chris and I want to get in line behind you. We can't kill one that size. Eric and Jason have had them all tied up. Congrats, you made a heck of a shot. What a great episode. This is, you know, this is one of those episodes that you should feel good about. 
taking kids, introduce them to the outdoors. We do it every year. We take friends, family, you know, neighbors. This is what every person in America should be doing. Michael Waddell said it best. Hunting is so far down right now. And it's because kids are not hunting. They're not getting out there in the woods and, and taking advantage of what what these resources are out here and, and experiencing what we grew up doing. So if you get a chance, take any kid, any kid you know, take them hunting, I promise you. Tell them a story about hunting. You're not gonna regret it.